dessert. These are the white chocolate martinis that are on the website. The recipe is on the website. What we've done is um, I've drizzled the inside. Well, first thing I did is I rimmed the glass with uh, homemade caramel sauce instead of the lime juice, then rolled it in crushed chocolate uh, salt, and then um, drizzled chocolate on the inside of the glass, and then it gets three trees uh, chocolate vodka, uh, Godana white, ch white chocolate liqueur, um, chocolate uh, cream de cocoa, is that right? And then um, heavy whipping cream, and ice and shake, and then I put a little chocolate silvers on top. And it, so it's it's gonna be rich <laughs> and thick and uh, and yummy. So here we go. Let's try this. Salty. <laughs> it's really awesome. Nice. That was really great. Very chocolatey. Very chocolatey. I love like, the saltiness though with it. Oh yeah, isn't that great? Really I think great. I think it really cuts down the heaviness of the cream. It does. It does. I think I'd be, I was really concerned, you know, since I said it's all heavy whipping cream and alcohol. Mm. No, that's wonderful. But the salt really does help a lot in keeping that just a really light tasting drink. Yeah. Not a bad dessert. Really like, wonderful <laughs> ending to it. I think it's the only way I want to do it from now on. Yeah, seriously. Like in, a, in a glass of alcohol. With a nice alcohol. salt. <laughs> Beautiful. Gosh. I think that the salt, the chocolate salt might be one of my favorites then. It is. I think it's most versatile. I use it on everything. And plus yeah. it's a great showstopper. I mean, of course, you can't stop talking about chocolate salt. Yeah, it's like, definitely. And that's it's something new that not a lot of people get a chance to try. And to see it go from being on the chicken yes. to now in this yeah. totally decadent dessert. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's amazing where it starts off at. I mean, I start my salt. Um, it comes out of um, this place called the Rio Famosa, which is southern Portugal. And it's this incredible nature preserve. And the marine biologists that were down in that area were trying to get this nature preserve back to life. And they're having problems with the flamingos not being healthy and a bunch of other things. And they realized the real problem was that there are these ancient, like 2,000 year old salt pans, production sites that were created by the Romans that weren't being. In Views. They were just overgrown with weeds and everything else, and the salinity in the nature surface is too high. And they realized that the salt pans were a part of the ecosystem. So they had the salt pans up and running again mm -hmm. in this nature preserve, and everything came back to life. The flamingos came back, the plant life got better. And so then they have all this incredible salt left over from production, because they did it the same way the, the Romans have for 2,000 years, which this wooden rakes on these pans, and the salt comes up just incredibly crystal clear and beautiful. And then they ship it to me, and then I have fun with it. I smoke yeah. it, and then add flavors, and this is what we get. How do you choose what kind of products you use to add to it? Like you kind of get all of those and decide on which ones to use? That's a good question. A lot of times, I have you know chef friends of mine plus my own flavors. I try to use things that I know I can get locally as much as I can. Um, that's what I like Edelstein wines. I use for my for my wine salts. If I can't get it locally, then it's something that I know that work, work, works really well with salt. Um, I know that lime juice works really well with salt. I know that chocolate works really well. I know olives work really well with salt. These are just naturals. Um, and of course, as you know, Lord's Salts, as a company, we're always inventing and working on new salts uh, uh, all the time. Yeah. But it depends upon the demand. I have a chef friend of mine who asks me give uh, make mint salt because he likes to put it on his lambs. So that's one of the salts I need in production was just for him. Yeah. Now the difference between this salt and say Morton's table salt. The table salt. This table salt is mined. It's actually ground out of the ground. A big, dirty chunks of rock taken from the ground. That's 99% pure sodium. They don't even ask me how they clean it. I don't know what chemicals they use. I, I have no idea. But they have to add like chemicals and anticoagulants and all this stuff to get that to your table. So it's completely, you know, manufactured and um, and then they have to add iodine to it too. Where a lot of the salts that we get, especially like Florida Famosa, it's it was uh, pro it's got awarded Progress to Nature, which is the French equivalent to organic, which means there's no industrial contaminants in it whatsoever. And uh, there's a lot of traces of magnesium and potassium that makes it a really clean salt. Uh, the difference between this and say a French grease salt is that grease salt, even though it's harvested the same way, they grate the bottom of their hands harder. And they don't control the quality of the water that goes in. So sometimes their salt comes out looking gray. Yeah. That can be anything from the clay in the pan to sediment from petroleum to any other kind of waste that's coming in for Brittany into their salts. So sometimes when you get salt grey, 
it smells fishy, like mm -hmm. really yeah, fishy, fishy. Fine. And that's a problem. I mean, if it's smelling fishy, then it's not a really clean smell. Then there's something in there that's creating that smell. You should be careful of it. This all comes out super white and clean because I just scrape just the top layer off that bottom of that pan. And they always make sure they keep it super, super clean and then it dries in the Portuguese sun. versatility because you can always go smaller you yeah. can't always go bigger so exactly. once you get that small salt what are you going to do with it exactly. but yeah it, it just gives that i leave large format just so that it has that versatility 